Right, all right, so before and after. Okay, so we've got Luke's raw image. We've got his presets as well. He's an awesome photographer, very cinematic, very dramatic lighting. We're recreating his uh, edit here with his raw image, which is very lucky to have. And I'm gonna show you the exact process of making changes to his presets and getting the exact same result as his dramatic Instagram feed. And I'll also link the presets if you want more, but we're taking you through start to finish so you can get the same result here. There's plenty of adjustments that need to get made when you use presets and you need to understand color in these tools. So you guys can get the free preset by just watching through and you'll have all the necessary settings. I will also teach you at the same time. This could be the last video ever on this channel like this because I've created a new channel just for Lightroom. This channel is gonna be more what I'm passionate about, photography, filmmaking, cinematography maybe. And then the other channel is just gonna be the ultimate channel for Lightroom and the course, getting people the style they want in Lightroom. Okay, let's run you through this edit. And just before I take you through start to finish, we do have the curves already done. So I'll, I'll show you the curves and I'll explain them at the same time. We have some filters done that are really important. I'll explain this later and same with removing some very important distractions. I'll take you through that at the end. Just be aware that those adjustments are done. We are using his presets for this tutorial, super helpful. So let's just drop exposure. Wait, it's just too bright. Intra increase the contrast. Shadows, this is an important adjustment for cinematic look. And his look is a lot of shadows. Uh, highlights, more glow, whites down a touch, and blacks can stay there. Now texture, we're gonna bring down. He has like, again, he goes for the cinematic look, so there's quite a bit of glow he's trying to achieve. We'll drop clarity for again that glow and smoothness. Now the really interesting thing about this shot is that it's actually on an iPhone, um, and that's why the settings is like F4.1. 22 millimeter ISO shutter. Yeah, we're gonna reduce the vibrance because cinematic is quite often moody. We're gonna increase the saturation, saturation, however. Okay, so the curves here, these are the curves from his presets. I'll link them down below, but you can see here, not too much happening here. A little lift to the blacks, not much. A little bit of a drop to the whites. Tiniest tiff lift in the mids, bit of a glow there. So not too much happening in this, if we reset and bring it back, not too much, just very slightly smoothing. Smoothing. Now the colors play a big role in here. Now just keep an eye on the curves as I flick through them, that there is less red, therefore more cyan, more green in the mids and highlights, and then, then there's more blue. So that's why we get this color shift, and you can see how his colors, signature colors are coming through with the curves. So in the shadows, you can see there's a strong blue to a lot of his work, cyan, but that's mostly done in curves. And then we've got some pretty warm highlights. We'll go for about um, a hue of that and five. Okay, split turning, pretty subtle because HSL is gonna do most of it for us. I'm gonna start with the most obvious one, yellows. Need to go way more orange. Green, not much in this image. Blues, so we got this teal that we need. We don't have these deep blues. We have this like greenish blues. Um, so yeah, okay. That's why we need to shift these blues this direction. Now just, just hang around to the end because that's when I'm gonna show you the filters that are really important. Saturation, bring out the oranges a lot. Same with the yellows. Now we really start to see his style looking like the reference image greens he quite often like other images in his presets and stuff greens down but in this image there's not many purple tiny bit i can see in there Let's bring them down okay now luminance is the brightness of colors we are gonna deepen so cinematic again is like quite a like moody uh darker style so yellows we're gonna bring down and cinematic 
blues. I think that looks great in this image in particular. Bring it up a bit. Aquas. Yeah. I like it up, but it looks like he's reduced. Okay, now at the bottom, now there is calibration going on. We've got very subtle adjustments. Five. His style has the slightest, like orange and teal. Let's go this way a little bit. And then saturation down a bit. And grain, not super heavy, but you definitely notice it. Roughness. And I'll go slight vignette. Okay, now I want to show you super, something super important. We have our filters here. Now I'll show you, okay? Filters, on and off. What are we doing here? We're trying to make the center brighter where we want the eye to go. We want to darken the foreground to help our eye go to that brighter subject in the middle. And then this, these people on the side, bringing them out a bit more. They kind of disappear. I don't think it's essential, but it works. Okay, so let's go into each one. These people here, or the glow around them, just drop the brightness, just because it was getting too intense. Let's go to this one. Okay, so exposure down is the main adjustment. Reduce the contrast, everything looks smoother. Reduce the shadows, so you get this like smooth, dark transition to the subject, which, which is up in exposure. And then we've also brightened the people. It just really, brightening the people, I think just really highlights that silhouette they have. And I almost forgot to show you before and after of the removal of these distracting bits here. So you wanna remove things like this um, because they distract from the overall subject and make the image kind of busy. You don't wanna get rid of too many things, but some things need to be removed. I think he's done a good job leaving some things and removing others. So that's just clone stamp tool here. All that he's used is the clone stamp tool here. So you're just clicking over top of stuff and you are good to remove stuff. Really epic timing and light in the shot. But that is everything. So there's the before, very flat, uh, straight out of camera, way more dramatic. Yeah, it looks great. Reset back and see the histogram goes way left because that's the moody cinematic look we want underexposed i'm probably the only person in the world that has seen so many styles by doing these tutorials and that's the key to really learn lightroom is to learn lots of different styles because then you see the patterns you see the commonalities and then you see the differences um, that's what let it all really click for me then i have brought together 100 plus photographers and paid them to teach and give their raw images so we have all these amazing styles in one place inside the course and then i'm there teaching you guys the differences between your styles the curves why they change style of style so you can implement it and go and get the style you want in lightroom we cover every style and the goal of the course is for people to learn the way i learn so you get raw images you get the presets you get step-by-step -step lessons from all these styles and that's the fastest way to guarantee really awesome edits because you there's nothing missing you have the whole process no guesswork so you can get the result you want and shortcut thousands of hours because editing is just one of those super long tasks and we can literally shortcut thousands of hours. All right, that's it for this one. Catch you in the next one.